Alright, today we're going to be hacking a Panasonic Lumex uh, DMC-SZ5. It's a 14.1 megapixel camera. Uh, and this one also does high def video. I'm going to be hacking this camera to do uh, daytime video with audio as uh, well as nighttime still pictures with a slate flash. Uh, so to start with we need to remove all the screws on the camera. There's two on this right hand side that we're going to remove, three on the bottom, and um, then there's one on the top corner over here. So I'm going to go ahead and get all those out. Alright, I've taken all the screws out of my camera and uh, one thing I want to point out to you is when you're removing the screws, you do need to keep those in order that they uh, come out. Uh, the two next to the tripod mounting hole are going to be a longer uh, screws than the two that were on the right side and the one on this corner. And uh, also the one on the top left is a longer screw. Uh, Alright, so now that I've got my screws out, I'm going to start separating the camera. Work the halves apart. Okay, let that start coming up and then work it loose across the top and we can remove our back cover. Right. And we need to remove our front cover as well. Just work that off. Okay, now I've got my front cover off and we're going to need to remove uh, the top trim piece here. Uh, as well, but first thing I want to do is go ahead and get my um, menu board off of the back and my LCD screen and this uh, menu board you can just kind of get under it at some point here and I believe it's just attached with a little plug-in socket so if I can get under there and get that to come up that little circuit board up and we're going to remove the uh, little plastic housing here as well. All right, now in order to get our LCD screen off we're going to need to remove this uh, side piece over here uh, where the Wi-Fi board and stuff is at so just kind of get in there and unclip that work that off and now to get the LCD screen off there's one little clip over here at the top uh, corner that we can disengage. Get in there and work that little clip loose. Alright, and now we can rotate our LCD screen over and lift up on the latch here. And be really careful so we don't break that latch. And now we can take our LCD screen off. All right. Now, in order to get to our top up here, where we're going to do our hack, uh, going to have to get this top trim piece off. Uh, it's just on a little uh, plug-in header right here, so I'm going to disconnect that. side here so get all that out of the way and now we can lift that whole top board up off of there okay all right so now that we have our uh, camera disassembled and we've got our top power and flash board off uh, what I'd recommend at this point is discharging the flash capacitor before you go any further so that you don't short anything out. And you'll notice a uh, kind of a large solder pad right here. That's the positive connection for your flash capacitor. And then over next to the flash capacitor in this orientation, there's two little small solder pads or you could even use that screw. It doesn't matter. 
um, but uh, probably right here on this little solder pad that's going to be your negative connection for the uh, flash capacitor so I'm going to go ahead and discharge this uh, capacitor on here so that I don't short anything out on the board get my resistor here attach it to the negative and to the positive hold it there for a few seconds so that we drain off the uh, voltage from that capacitor all right now just to be sure that I've drained it I'm going to get my voltmeter and set it to 600 DC and then I can check to make sure that I don't have any remaining voltage there so that we won't short anything out and I'm only showing two volts there so that's good right, now then to get to our power shutter and video contacts uh, I'm going to need to remove the screw over here on this right hand corner and then there's one over on the left hand corner by the flash capacitor so we're going to remove those right, now that we've gotten the screws out I'm just going to work this top trim piece up off of the board and there's a microphone and a speaker up top so that if they want to stick in place uh, you can work those loose so you can get ready to trim all right now i will be uh adding an external microphone to this camera and the microphone on this camera is right here um, and it's connected to the board by a small ribbon that runs underneath and uh, you can lift up that latch and just remove that microphone and in order to get uh, audio with this camera what we're going to have to do is solder on to the little pins that uh, are at that ribbon connection and the last pin to the left is going to be uh, external microphone positive and then the other three pins any of those can be uh, your microphone negative connection so you don't have to really worry about if you bridge the three pins to the right together it, it, that won't make a difference at all okay and then to uh, do our power shutter and video hack um, right here is the power button and we're going to need to solder our power wire to the top right corner for our shutter uh, the shutter button is here and you're going to need to uh, solder to the uh, top right contact here next to the zoom switch and be careful that you don't you know melt that switch right there and also don't bridge your shutter wire to the metal housing uh, otherwise the shutter button will be shorted out and it won't function and then for video our video button is over here and we can use um, the top or the, excuse me the bottom right contact for uh, our video on, on this camera all right now for externals um, external locations are under the bottom here and the uh, in this orientation the pad to the far left is going to be your external positive and the one to the right is going to be your external negative um, so I'm going to go ahead and get this camera hacked and then I'll come back and I'll probably show you how I'm going to route my wires out of it. Uh, uh, what I'm going to probably do is uh, drill out the uh, tripod mounting hole here. Um, and they'll give me an access point to route my wires outside the camera. And uh, anyway, once I get that done, I'll come back and show you that. And um, I'll also show you that the hack on the camera is working. All right, at this point, I just wanted to show you uh, where I'm at in my process. What I've done is uh, removed the uh, ribbon that would have went across 
from the uh, Wi-Fi and connected to the main board over here and I've also removed my shutter assembly and uh, I've drilled out the uh, tripod mounting hole and right in this area between this little post and the uh, uh, section where a screw would mount at I just uh, cut out a little divot in there just to give me a little better access to run my uh, wires down in there once I uh, start doing the hack on the camera and for my externals up top uh, right in this area there was a uh, piece of plastic that went across here and I just uh, trimmed that out uh, and recessed it so my plan is to once I have my external wires on there's really not much room that you can run them towards the back so I'm going to run them to the left side over here and that uh, little plastic that I cleared out just gives a space for the wires to run across here without being pinched and also right here on this corner there was a uh, section of plastic um, right here that was uh, sticking up that was flush with the top of this board and I just snipped that off and that will give me a little better access to run my wires out through here too without causing any problems with them so just wanted to show you that and I'm going to continue on with my hack alright so I've completed the hack on this uh, Panasonic SZ5 so the first thing I want to do is check my externals make sure I'm getting a good uh, reading there so connect my meter to the external wires and I'm reading 3.54 volts so I uh, know my external connections are good now on this camera you can use your uh, external battery negative as your common for power for shutter and for video so to power the camera up touch my power wire with my battery common or battery negative and now to shutter a picture get my shutter wire and I'm knocking the camera over here alright so shutter and battery external negative takes a photo right now to uh, take the video take my video wire and touch that to my battery external negative and we are now taking video test those two again and the video stopped alright guys so that's the hack on the Panasonic SZ5 and thanks for watching